Muslims all over the world face Qibla for prayers. So do all schools focus on Qibla schools to emulate beautiful innovations. Our nursery and primary schools enjoy good teaching aid facilities as our team of qualified and committed teachers. Leave no stone unturned, ranging from academics to moral and religious teachings. Qibla High School as well is a place to be with spacious playground, very conducive learning environment, library, ICT and indoor games rooms are not only well stocked but also equipped with state-of-the-art facilities our students perform brilliantly well at all external examinations as well as various core and extracurricular activities Kibla schools comprising of preparatory and high schools is at plot two to five ibadon southwest multi-purpose scheme at leshi lawyer ibadon telephone 0805-272-5253 or 0803-313-2027 Kibla schools we set the pace أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان ودعا بدعوتهم إلى يوم الدين أبا بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is your program our program Messi from Kibla sponsored by Kibla Schools. This morning, we will continue with the topic we started yesterday, societal vices. It is very important that we take a great look at those common vices in our society. Another one that is very prevalent is indecent dressing. This is not only limited to ladies, men and boys are also included in indecent dressing. You see boys sagging, they call it sagging in their language. You see them wearing crazy jeans. I'm happy that they term it crazy because crazy in the dictionary of, of the old world means mad. And part of the causes of all these vices are the following. The scholars are not giving lectures. Even in the mosque, people will just come in and pray. They will only, they, they offer only to us in mosque today. There's no time to give lectures. Even in some mosques, where they are planned to be giving lectures, people will not wait to listen to lectures. People are not waiting in the mosque to listen to lectures. When we are having functions, our affairs will not devote time to giving lectures again. They are after collecting money from people. They don't apportion a certain time to give lecture to people apart from collecting money from people when people do not hear good things they hear bad things on radio on tv on phone and these are the things they are doing because it's things they hear you see ladies and sisters wear garments that are skimpy tight and transparent this is not limited to them today. Men, boys, and guys are not wearing such. Even today, you will see boys wearing earrings, putting on chains, putting on bangles, and so forth. This is against the rules of Allah. Because it is a sin for a male to wear the dress belonging to the female. And it is a sin for the female to wear a dress belonging to male. Our Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was better to have said, Lana Law Arodula A Lady Yali Basu Lubasatali Maria. Wali Maria Taleti Talibasu Nubusata Rodin. The woman said, Allah has caused 
the man who wears the female dress. And Allah has caused the woman who wears the male dress. In this case, customs and traditions have a role to play because what is acceptable and allowed in what custom is unacceptable and not allowed in other custom. That is why to judge yourself whether you are wearing as a man a female dress, you have to look at your custom and tradition in your place. So that you will know whether you are under divine rod or not. Whatever known in our custom and tradition as feminine should not be worn by a male. Whatever known in our custom and tradition as masculine should not be worn by female. Because Allah has caused a rodula, a lady, Yalibasu, Lubu Satalimaria. Allah has called a man who wears the garment of female. While Maria let it talibasu lubusata rojuli, and the woman who wears the dress of men. So this is another area that is considered as indecent dressing in Islam. Another area is to see ladies, women wearing garments that are skimpy. It is not that they don't have enough money to cut their clothes according to their size. But they think that is what is trending. That is what is in vogue. Which will lead one into hell if one is not careful. Wear any dresses that are skimpy. Wear any dresses that are transparent. Wear any dresses that are tight. Are a major sin in the sight of Allah. That is why in the only Korean, Allah Ta'ala calls upon the prophet. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim Ya ayyuhu an-nabiyyu kun li azwajika wa banatika wa nisa'i bil-mu'minin Yudinina alayhinna min jalabibin Dalika adina ayyuhu rafuna wa la yuzin وَكَانَ اللَّهُ غَفُورًا رَحِيمًا This is Surah Al-Azhar, verse 59. Allah Ta'ala calls upon the Holy Prophet. O Prophet of Allah, tell your spouses, your daughters, and the believing women that they should cast their outer garments upon their persons. Allah is ordering the Holy Prophet to tell his spouses, his daughters, and you, our mothers, our sisters, our aunties, that you should cast your outer garment over your persons. That is most convenient that you should be known as such and not molested. And Allah is ever forgiving, merciful. So in this phase, Allah has ordered that women should put upon their inner dresses, outer garments, that will cover their whole bodies, especially when they are going outside or when they have visitors in their buildings. They should put on their outer garments that will cover all their decorations and beauties. In one of the hadith, reported by an Imam Muslim, and it's one, two, three in Sahih Muslim. The only person Allah Alaihi Wasallam said, "Sinfani min ali nari lamu arauma kaumun maun siyatum kasinabili bakori ya diribuna biya nas wanisaun kasiyatum ariyatum mumilatum maailatum." Ruusu unna ka aswati bukhuti li maaila La ya dekhulina li janna Wa la ya jidna riya Wa ina riha ha la yu jadu Mi masrati kada wa kada This hadith is very tough You women should pay an attention to this hadith The Prophet said 
There are two types of people have not seen. It means those two types of people did not exist when the prophet was alive, or he did not see them with his naked eyes. Sinfani minali neri lamwa roma. Joel said there are two types of people have not seen. Men that have whips with which they strike people without having offended them. One is sound, Kasiyatu Ariat, and women that are dressed but naked. Let us mark that statement. One is sound, Kasiyatu Ariat, and women that are dressed but naked. Mumilatun Mailat. They are inviting people to evils. And they are inclined to evil. Rusuuna ka as what you bought in my life. Their heads will appear like the arms of the Cayman that is inclined to one side. La ya de holina de janna. The prophet is not giving their verdict in this hadith. It is giving their verdict. La ya de holina de janna. They will not enter paradise. Wala ya jidina riyaha. They will not smell the fragrance of paradise. Wa in nariyaha. La yu jadu. Mi masirat kada wa kada. Despite the fact that the fragrance of paradise is perceptible from such and such a distance. Still, those women who are dressed but naked will not enter paradise. Neither will they be able to spare the fragrance of paradise that is perceptible from a long distance before one can enter paradise. That shows how serious it is for women that wear garments that are skimpy, for women that wear garments that are transparent, for women that wear garments that are tight, women who wear garments that is tight, that is transparent, and that is Skimpy will be counted among those women who are dressed but naked. And the prophet has mentioned the punishment in this hadith. La ya de hulina ridana. They will not enter paradise. Neither will they be able to smell the fragrance of paradise. So may Allah Ta'ala save us and you from this torment. My name is Adijimi Abukebi. Subhanaka Amyambik. Shadan la ila ila ant. Azatu bulik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Talking of schools with clear vision and mission, Kibla schools maintain a comfortable lead. With the variety stuff for all ages, children don't miss home. Our teachers are dedicated, caring, and hardworking, and that's why we stand out among our equals. Kibla schools is situated in a serene environment with well ventilated classrooms, standard laboratory, fully stocked library, and ICT room. School bus are praised to move students to and fro with pads. And other facilities are done to, to develop, develop and all our students. students. The fear of God is not left behind as we are not only taught the word of God, but also made to practice under the supervision of our world informed malam. Situated at plot 2 to 5 Ibadan, Southwest Local Government Multipurpose Scheme, Alesh Lawyer Ibadan. Telephone 0805 272 5253. يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا حبيبي يا نبي الله السلام عليك يا يا رسول